because I was getting caught out really hard for it. So, with that in mind. Yeah. Movement is really nice sometimes. <laughs> yeah. When you, there's that one grab you got on the left side, that, I'm like, 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 I'm since when this is all taken up, I'll just do commentating. If my commentary is intrusive in any way, please tell me. Will I be though? I'm just, just in case. It's time for grands, y'all. We got Tom TD. We got Brooke next. An all-action-packed <laughs> night on Millersville comes to a close here. They've been messing around a bit. Where's that? We got Donkey Kong. We got Marth. We got characters that they don't usually play, not their mains. And TD was able to take the set 3-2. Thus, he ends up in winner's side. There will be no messing around in this set, maybe, possibly. But... It's time for grand finals. We got Palutena, Lucina, rocking the green. So I want some, some neutral T. Lands a fair, not really able to convert off much of it though. Next, trying to go for some shield pressure. Gets the nair, not much off it though. Kind of drops it a bit. And TD going for that cross up fair, not really going to work out too well for him. But he was able to get some damage after after the fact. Nice up there. Not it's just more like traded balls right now. Maybe like two pieces, three pieces, but not really anything like too substantial right now. At 80% though, next could be a potential problem spot though. That could be a TD percent where you could have something very substantial happen. But she is bringing it back nicely with these neutral wins that is really translating well. Harry on the shield breaker early on in the set too, very early. And a little bit of a corner pressure situation, and TD gets caught in the back air, and this is big problems, but he manages to get out and hopefully puts next in the same situation. Now the side B isn't going to land, the down throw mix up, it's just going to move in another ledge trap situation, down another down throw again, Bear's not going to connect, Epsilon's not going to connect, ledge trap situation again, forward throw is going to connect this time, and we have the next first stock on the board, TD. Hat is not down, at, not even close, really. We still have so much game left to play. And being on winner's side, he has a lot of time to download what next can do, even though they played over 100 sets. And they are here to download them for this set beyond. But that was kind of a brutal stock from next. TD has a lot to work with now. Uppy not going to connect, but next is kind of after that up here. She froze. She did not know what was going to happen in there. And she is now no she now knows what is happening. She has taken TD to town. Side B on the parry. Yeah, no, it's next wants this game over. What? Um, <laughs> explosive flame. Uh, I know explosive flame works like that, but not in that situation. However, next, I believe that was an SD bringing Cooner Cooner off just a little bit, but she has a massive lead ahead of her. As TD trying to make things happen, little down throw conversion there, trying to get a bit of shield pressure on, down there out of shield, gonna say no to all that. Although with TD is bringing it back nicely, but you need more than that. And nope, at full shield, those shield breakers are not actually gonna break shield, but they do at least make those shields small. And with how important it is to have your shield small as a sword fighter, it still is a nice thing to have, even if it doesn't break that shield. 
DD needs this one shot right now. He gets it with that back air rising up. And next trying to go for the classic screw up read. TD is not a screw up. He's not going to get fallen for that. Down throw. Back air is not going to work. But the aggressive nair down is not going to fumble for that. And we have next winning game one on this grand final set. Likely not a likely not much to be changed in terms of counter pick potential or character changes. Oh, we have Kylo Bastion up next on the stage list. These two love their Pokemon Stadium too, so it's a bit of a surprise, but you can tell they're true competitors if they want to pick something else. PS2 is great, but sometimes it's not the greatest. Just starting off here. Next had such a huge lead in game one, but TB was starting to bring it back just a little bit. Putting it to last stock, there is no doubt in my mind that if it was even a bit closer than that, TD could definitely bring it back, take some games, take the set. It is far from over here, as Next is actually getting the better of these first in a couple interactions here. Getting the spot dodge, nice reaction on that. Forge Smash not going to kill, but can set up into things. TD with a nice air dodge, and up he's going to beat out the Nair. Popping TD over for maybe, no, he was trying for something more than the ledge trap, but his ledge trap potential not more going to work out. He just gets thrown back <laughs> off. I love that, just the jump back, catching that roll, but clipped by the up B, so it's going to be falling a bit short for Brooke. Next is the auto radical not working to her favor, but the auto is and TD lands too aggressively on it. Next gets the first stock of the second game. Oh, like F-Smash coming out from TD. He wants that stock and he wants it bad. How badly though, I don't know. That horse is looking pretty bad right now. And it probably does not want to be eaten up. But a simple let's trump back here. That's how you take a stock. Next on the board right now with these couple Knair and the tech chase confirms. And TD coming back aggressively. Gonna eat some damage for it. Still, and took, takes out a resource. Still on the ledge there. Gets off. Next with the preemptive dash attack. Not working out to her favor. Sabi working a little strange. Oh, that is so. That's a teleport to end all teleports. TD had next without a jump. And next just said, yeah, no. I thought you think you have me. I'm just going to teleport out here. Oh, Kuma wishes. But these member sense, though, is where... You can have a lot done, but what what more can be done to get in the stock? We got Explosive Flame on TD. He's been falling for several of those. And the thing is, even if you don't fall for an Explosive Flame, it forces a resource out of you. So next to definitely follow that up with something more substantial. Double Explosive Flame. One of them hits, one of them fumbles. TD, though, the Nair catching next in a position where I wasn't expecting at all. No, the little corner pressure situation. And next just... Does Explosive Flame in a really strange position. That was a really nice air dodge, though, that other Explosive Flame. But next is a living on. You'd think. Lives on, and lives on, and lives on. If you live for long enough, eventually you'll see yourself winning. And that is almost a situation we have right now. As next is up almost a whole stock versus TD. Next is up a whole stock versus Brooke. Yep. She's fighting herself, and she's winning. The back, they're not really going to kill this time. Explosive Flame forces a resource out. No ledge trap situation. Oh, uh, kind of an awkward placement for next. And TD takes advantage. The last stock situation again coming out. Little corner pressure. Just jumping away. TD escapes, but not before eating a dash attack. And forward to TD is running so aggressively on next. And she is just covering it so many times. you got to be more patient than that. But when you're patient versus next, all that happens is a ledge trap situation. All that happens is a corner situation. All that happens is a juggle situation. All that happens is you are in trouble versus next. Book wants to wrap this up pretty quickly with the 3-0, trying to make it that both of them are put into the loser's bracket for the reset of the century. Back on how the Bastion again. Starting off with Auto Radical does connect. Not all of them will connect at all the time, but it's so important for Palutena to maintain a strong game at all ranges. TD's trying to get off a bit aggressively. Nair got caught. 
little situation. Oh, next tried to go aggressively, but TD, even though that's one of the first times did next did that, TD goes down, 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 and allows himself to stay on game. However, it it is common for Lucina to go down, so I'm saying it's impressive. It is very slightly impressive. They're just going around each other, trying to dance around in circles. On God damn, they use that day one commentary ass bull. Oh my God, we're not commentating for the rest of this stock until the last stock of either of them. Okay, that is my punishment for using that term, dancing. No, 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 that is some like cheap commentating nonsense. We gotta get the gourmet stuff out here, and that is what we're here for. We're not here for the for the cheeses. We're here for the gourmet cheese. The commentary continues as TD puts next on the last stock situation. The punishment is over, but not over for Brooke. She's still having to eat these situations that TD is consistently forcing her into. The left trap situation, though, gets off aggressively, but this time it works. TD gets off these situations pretty nice. Some of the time, not great some of the time, but if you keep doing it, eventually, if you ram your head against the wall, but you don't do it every time, it can work so, so well, but... That's probably death out of Lucina. Nope. The drift of her general attributes gives her an advantage on that regard. And we have the last stock situation yet again, but it's pretty close so far. Dex only at 70%, racking up to 80%. TD is down to trying to bring in some pressure, only gets nared. How much will this actually do though? 42 and a juggle state. Yeah, you want that 42% meal, you can eat it too. With even if you get that damage up, you have so much more potential that a smash not really gonna work out. And TD had a potentially scary position, but next fumbles the up air, and TD is able to get out with a fair to make sure the next does know what happened there. Nair pressure coming out. Oh, the spot dodge next loves to grab, and that spot dodge being, is very nice for it. Down throw pressure, not really going to work out. Up throw just says juggle situation instead of a mix-up opportunity. The S-Mash is going to be missed out TD. He's been throwing those out so well. Nah, not well. He's been missing those so much. And next, gets the reset. Very, very quick 3-0. Off the board, and we have a set, ladies and gentlemen. And non binary folks, it is the Pride Fest Day at Millersville. It was amazing. I did not go to it, but there are so many people at that event, and I am just chilling out here. Uh, LGBTQIA plus rights. This is Millersville. We are out here. I mean, you saw the upstairs, right? We're popping back to the second set here, starting on Hollow Bastion. Just a lovely gentleman pick here. As you folks who really want to play this game, and that's why there's a reset here. And this could be a quick stock. Nah, not gonna finish the food, but hey, that food was probably rotten anyways. Because I, I wouldn't like to do that either. TD off neutral gap, getting a couple up tilts here, just getting to that 25%. If you're a 0%, you can't get much done, but when you're out here at that 20, that 30, you can get so much more done. Those tech chases start coming available, those mid percent combos start coming available. So much is earned just off of getting 20 or 30% off the bank. 
and TD has taken it to the Wells Fargo Bank because I hate all other banks. I hate all banks. Now Wells Fargo sucks. But anyways, we still have an even game. Explosive Flame, sneaky, and yeah, it is sneaky because Nex just died. So as we have a situation here where TD can get a lot off the momentum of this lead that is brought 30%. As I said, that's not small. That's a big deal. Back throw off of next here. TD goes off aggressively, and instead of attacking, he does air dodge this time. He was saying something about that on the other game. He air dodged, but at the wrong timing. This time it works, but the next is going to get this second first stock off. And can she continue her three-game win streak on TD? Oh. We'll see about that, but TD with some nice blood tra trapping to boot. Explosive player just going to fizzle out. Next rolling out TD, not fast enough, but next kind of fumbles on that nair, and TD is able to get the uppy out of shield. The fair it kind of puts next in an awkward situation, and TD still has the ledge trap. This has been happening for a while now. Can next ever get out of this situation? The nair kind of does not work for TD though, and that gives next just a bit of extra percent, that important, important, important percent, and time on the clock. These two would never go to time, but time is still important to understand that it wears on you as a player. The longer these games go, it does not function well for any part of you, unless you just built different. And we see what just happens off of that one Nair not connecting. TD is now at a roughly, you could potentially say kill percent, because Nex has all that rage on the board. Another back throw out. Nex has been getting so many back throws as of late. And this, oh, he, she wanted down there, but not going to work out. TD just runs up, up to trying to get Nex to act out of shield, but there is no acting out of shield. It's just back throw yet again. And next brings it all the way back into a into her lead. There is no TD lead. This is the next show, and Brooke just—that's a commentator's curse if I've ever seen one. Brooke, I—I I told you it was your show. Please, please show that it's your show. Well, now it's her opportunity. She has TD in the corner, completely fumbles it, and also eats percent, making her not in the lead anymore. Gets down throw into dash attack off the air dodge that TD was doing. It's very common for Paul Tanis to do that kind of stuff, so it works well for most, but next knows better. Little forward air there. Explosive flame TD trying to strike, but you can't strike fire. That just flints it. Nice little mix up there, going for an aerial and stuff, but TD's been grabbing, getting grabbed so much, you'd think they're, they're much, yeah, that might be the last grab of this game. Well, the, nope, it isn't the last grab of this game. They're still getting grabbed. And what's still getting grabbed is still getting killed. The up air works out. And Brooke is still on top. It's not impossible for TD to work with this, especially, in fact, he's been in winners. But what do you think this winner is going to be when the last person who's won this set hasn't won a game in four of them? The fifth game out here is going to be on Hollow Bastion yet again. And TD needs something, anything, even just like if next SDs three times, he needs that. He wants anything to work with himself just to get himself out of here. But, oh no, you do not want that. Four dash attacks, TD is starving. And I don't like the look of that. He needs something desperate here. And I, yeah, no, nah, he's getting dash attacked so much. That shield is getting every ounce of blood out of that Lucina blade. Blades can't bleed, but this one can because Palutena is a goddess and she can make everything living. Watch out, there, Chose Kids. The advantage she has worn off a bit for next, but it's still going now. Nair pressure gets the, off the platform, gets the Nair Nair. Counter not going to work out. This first time, hey, I would have hit her. But first time, she's done it. Doesn't really work out. And Zach gives the TD the avenue to potentially make this back. Down throw, nothing. But down here, still going to get nothing. You don't get the kill. Nice air dodge timing for TD. How he's going to respond to corner pressure. Does not get hit by the forward tilt. But gets parried into that grab. I've been saying TD's getting grabbed a lot. But that is a very strong situation where Palutena can get those grabs. And even though I say it's getting grabbed a lot, 
hey, with Paul Tana, with everything else she has, it's not impossible for her to just get grabbed over and over again because her other stuff is so threatening. TD trying to get this edge guard, not working out. Just gets a Constellation Fair, and yup, there we go with the Nair F Smash. Classic kill confirm. TD gets it. Bad air dodge, though. Stuck in a ledge trap situation. How many times am I going to say that? Let's trap situation. That's just what these two are built on. Just abusing the fact that their advantages are so strong against each other that when one of them opens each other up, it's very hard for the other one to even get anything done because their advantage state is just going all over the place. And all we have an all around the world combo off of TD. Gets like 30% or so. Next has TD in a light trap situation yet again. The down throw perfectly casting the neutral, neutral getup, but TD yet again gets out of it. But next pops the that back here on him. Just gets another stock. TD stocks are falling fast like lightning. Oh well, bad situation here. It's gotten worse from bad to worse. And yeah, no, next might not have hit that down here, but she still gets the kill. And we have one game to go if Next is to win. We For so long in this set, we've seen just a couple interactions here, a couple interactions here, and then you see it build and build and build until you see Brooke just absolutely smother TD with a devastating zero to death situation. We have a new stage on the planet, small battlefield. Assuming the same characters are off to bat, Again, next might not need to SD three times because that might be what Tom needs. But nah, Tom's not like that. He's not going to accept three SDs and calling it a day. He's going to accept hard work and hard situations that work towards him becoming a better player. And for both of these two, it is just another blimp in the road to becoming the best players they could possibly be. Would the up come out? Nah, it doesn't seem like so. The win box of the S-Match work his next favor just a little bit. Jab in the back here. TD just jumped in at the wrong timing. Air dodging out. TD gets out of that situation nicely and beats out the Nair. But nope. The forward air is going to get caught out. Next being more aggressive in these situations. It's probably because she has now the advantage, heavy advantage in the set. And even at the possibility of a reverse 3-0, she wants everything and so, so badly. The shield breaker next does not shield, so it does not do what TD wants it to do. Takes out his jump, but not totally. Nice platform pressure. That narrow is so tricky. The dash attack not going to be able to kill. It's a 150 kill move, so it doesn't expect to kill right there. And just runs up and grabs him. Get over into my arms. Good platform pressure again coming out from next. The explosive flame. TD gets caught by it badly, and... TD up smash does work out this time. Gets the first stock on this game. TD though needs a bit more than that. That was out of a brook horrible mistake. You don't want these stocks to be just purely off of these horrible mistakes. You want them to be off your own hard work. And while that up smash is something that TD did, it was ultimately based off of something terrible the next did. You want them to do something that looks terrible, but makes sense. And TD is trying to make that work. In fact, he's actually gotten these last couple of hits and the upper beating up the nair here. Trying to get something going. I the tech chase was there, but the confidence just was not there. TD might have been just broken down. And these situations that were so confident for him, he's still confident, but at what point do you say that you're out of this, even though you technically aren't? Little off the Yeah, that S smash is not gonna work out, but. TD nasty getting off the corner. It's been so common to attack chase. Nah, not gonna work. The let's trump. Not gonna work. Pop. Up B, not gonna work. Down smash, real weird angle there, but TD manages to live. S smash, not gonna work. He's been flashing those out. And while it is important to show that you don't want to do that S smash, at some point, it's not great because it just gives you a lot of room to punish. And when you're so far behind in games, you might not want that. But hey, playing too safe isn't great either. It just gives you a predictability that you don't want as well. It is such a conundrum to work for a TD. You want everything, but you want nothing all at once. And that side B, he's been doing those jumping nares. And so side B gets you more hits, but not the kill. 
rising there is going to get him punished. The old explosive flame does not get TD to kill, and up B was pretty preemptive twice over. Next, potentially a CD Cobra set again with literally all the rage that she could ever want. She's blinking red. Little corner pressure here. TD goes a little too hard in the paint and does not work too well. But he's able to get this onto a situation where he can win again. Forward hill off starting the ledge trap situation. If there's any situation where TD can win, it is off a ledge trap situation, and both of these two will know that for a fact. Next gets out for the time being, but she's not completely out of it yet. TD is still pushing that advantage to as far as he can go. The up be a very interesting option there. I haven't really seen too much of that. Next, trying to get a little up air. TD gets out of it nicely. We have a hot stock coming over here, folks. TD is smashing them. But you can't say you smashed them if you don't get the win. And can TD get this win here? It's very important that he doesn't fumble this because he's been so hot. And is that going to be it? No. No, it is not. TD is better than that. He knows how to DI those. And oh my. That's how it ends, huh? <laughs> TD was playing so hot, but what's the best thing to do to cool down someone that's hot? Take him down with that kind of option. Up smash. And TD is sent to the heavens. Brooke. Brooke is winning this tournament today.